Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Novodia software to create a playlist. The first step is to plan your screen layout. Instead of going through the software features one by one, we are going to use a real example to illustrate how to use this tool. This is a snapshot of the example playlist, which has video clips, several pictures, and some text. This is how we plan our screen layout. With the top right region is the main area for video playback, a few regions for a picture slideshow, and a running text at the bottom. You should have this kind of layout plan before you create a playlist. The second step is to prepare resources for each region, such as video clips, pictures, and text needed for your playlist. Now we have the layout defined and the necessary resources prepared, we are ready to march to the next important step, using Novadia software to create a playlist. Launch the Novodia software. You will see two tabs at the top left corner, DS Playlists and DS Devices. The DS Playlist tab is used for playlist editing while the DS Devices tab is used to manage deployed Novo DS devices. This video focuses on playlist editing, namely the DS Playlist tab. In the DS Playlist tab, all the playlists created are listed here. To create a new playlist, click Add Playlist. You can select a screen layout from these built-in templates. In our case, we will need to create a new layout to match our design. So click on the button Customize and then Template Editor to build the layout. You are free to change column and row numbers as needed. To define a region, simply drag your mouse to merge cells until you reach the desired dimension. First we create the region for video playback. Similarly, we create regions for company logos, product picture slideshows, and so on. To undo a region, just right-click on your mouse, then you can start over again. Let's change it back to Continue. Click on the button OK to finish the layout definition. Then click on the button Create to create a new playlist using this layout. Now the playlist is created, and we can rename the playlist and add some description. Then we can start to fill in the resources prepared in Step 2. You can also define background music and a background image for this playlist. Within the template, we have defined 11 regions. Let's click Region 1, and you can see that you can import a variety of resources, from video clips, RSS feeds, to IP streaming and weather. For Region 1, we would like to play a video clip. In this case, click on the button Media, and then click on Add File to import the video. Click the option Stretch Video to fill region, to fill video in the whole region. For Region 2, we would like to display a company logo. Similarly, click on Media, and then Add File to select the proper picture. Select the option Fit underscore XY to fill the picture in the whole region. Repeat these steps for Region 3 and Region 4. Never forget to save your work. Now we've come to Region 5, which is going to show some text. Click on the button Live Feeds. There are four visual effects, static text, horizontal scrolling, vertical scrolling, and rich text. We choose rich text as we need to change text font, size, color, etc. Start to key in the text.
Continue to finish regions 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11. Finally, we come to Region 10, where we would like to add a horizontal running text. In this case, we can change background color, define the background image, change font size, etc. Of course, we need to enter the text we would like to appear. The last step is to change the scrolling speed to slow. Save all your work. Preview our playlist. Click Preview and then input one Novo DS device's IP address. This device should be connected to an LCD monitor or TV. Click on the button Connect to establish the network connection and then click Play. As this is the first time for the device to play this playlist, it starts with synchronizing the content to the device. You can see the device status via this remote snapshot window. After the playlist synchronization is done, the device starts the playback right away, as you can tell from the remote snapshot window. As a matter of fact, this is how it looks on the actual LCD monitor. Yes, we are playing the playlist on the Novo DS device now. You can continue using the software to tweak your work to your satisfaction. Thanks for watching this video. You can always visit our website, www.vivitechcorp.com, for more product information and ask for a demo.